Right, hello and welcome to the Geek Lab. And in front of us we have my iMac G4, which uh, we unboxed in a live video quite a while ago. If you want to see that video, it's up there. We did that live, which is interesting. Uh, but in the meantime, it has a couple of issues. The first is the clock. Uh, when you switch this off, you can set the clock all you want, but once you switch it off, it will go back to 1 a.m. It has been running uh, for 17 minutes so far, as you can see. But once I reset it, I'll go back to 1 a.m. And the second part is if you're trying to uh, boot it into the boot menu to allow you to choose different operating systems, etc., you get this. Yes, this bugger has a firmware password on it, which obviously has been second hand. I don't know, and the last owner doesn't know either. So we're going to have to uh, do a little playing with the hardware to reset this. And while we're in there, we'll uh, solve that clock problem by replacing the PRAM battery, which is, it is one of them. I shall put a link to an eBay uh, page where I got this from down below. I'm not supported by them. I just, well, I found one, so you can get one too. But uh, yeah, we'll replace this and do our little hardware trick to allow us to reset that password. First thing we need to do is get this thing powered off, unplugged and on its arse to get that bottom off. Oh, if you are watching this, uh, when we take this apart, we're going to be needing to replace some thermal compound. So before you do this operation, make sure you've got some suitable thermal compound. Right, once you've uh, got it on its backside, you'll see there are four very small Phillips screwdrivers. Now I've got on these uh, pound land or dollar store sort of things that will get me in there. So we need to remove those four screws and drop this panel. That will give us access to the memory bay. Right, once those screws are loose, they are self-tapping so they will hold in place. You can just uh, pull by one of the screws actually is the easiest way to do. Just pull the pull and this bottom part will come away. Nice piece of Aluminium, I think, there. Now, inside, you will find your expanded memory, and this is where your airport card will be fitted if you have one. Now, to hack the password, we said that you need to make a change in the memory configuration. So, if there's something in here, remove it. If there isn't, I'm afraid you're going to have to get more memory and stick it in, which has its own advantages for future use. So, at this point, what we can actually do is reset the PRAM. So set the computer back up, you don't need to put the bottom back on, and we'll go through that. Okay, we have the system set back up, and what we're going to do is, as we press the power, we're going to press Command, Option, P and R buttons all at the same time. And it should start to boot. And then it should start resetting itself. See if it does that. Yep, it's reset itself. And then we should hear it chime again. And on that second one, we can let go of the keys. And that should have reset it. So what we'll do, we'll let it boot and we'll shut it back down and then we'll press the command key and see if we can now have a boot option. Right, she's so booted back up. I complain about the clock because that battery still needs replacing. What we're going to do is shut it down. Shut down. When that's done, we're going to uh, power back up, pressing the option key to get that boot menu. Let's wait for it to drop. Right, press fire while holding the option key. Do we still have that password? There we go. It's got no options because it's only got the one operating system in, but that password has now been bypassed. Success. So we'll get this computer uh, dis uh, disassembled again, back on its bottom, and we'll show you how to go in and get that PRAM battery. 
Right, here we are, back again with the back side of the computer, and you'll see we've got one, two, three, four uh, screws that have these rather large star pattern in them. And once again, Poundland, Dollar Store, screwdrivers, they will furnish you with one of these that will do the job. There you see the pattern there, that's the one you want. And uh, we'll just remove them, but we're not going to take that panel off quite yet. I shall show you that once I've removed the screws. Okay, I now have those four screws out. What I'm going to do is separate top from the bottom. Now, this is the separation line here. So we're going to gently pull those two apart, but be careful there is a cable that goes between the two, so you need to be careful. You don't rip that out of its socket and tear it. Now, I'm going to do this off camera because I've got the camera in between me and the computer, and all you'll see is me in the way. So I'll come back once that's done. And here she is taken apart and I actually found there's one, two, three ones that you need to disconnect. There's also an aerial lead running between the two back there. Oh, and this one here says one, two, three, four. And this one goes across but doesn't need removing. That one. Right. Right, that was uh, precarious. You have to just very gently do it and work your way around till it comes loose and then gently drop it because there's one, two, three that need to come out. There's a fourth one running along there. That one which automatically fits as you drop it or pull it out. And you've got this one here as well, uh, which doesn't need removing in this case, but yeah, you could damage that easily. And you can see in here now, here's our guilty PRAM battery in the dust. So what we're going to do is replace that, dust this entire thing, and you'll also notice that over here is a heat sink. And there is some compound here which attaches to this part here. So we've broken that, so what we may as well do while we're here is clean that up put some fresh on before we put the two back together. First things first, place that battery. So, here's our new one. Let's see if it'll come out. There we go. That will get this out and a lot of dust around here. So, while it's out, I'm gonna clean the thing up with some compressed air. Okay, I've now dusted it, put the new battery in, and I've put little, little blobs of compound. I found there's one here as well, so I've put some, clean that off, put a bit of compound on. Now the compound that was on there is very, very tough, so I ended up just using the front edge of a flat head screwdriver, just very gently pushing that off. That's my technique, yours might be different. So, I'm going to now very precariously put this together off camera. Uh, because I'll just be in the way again. So, good luck, wish me luck, and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Right, I've put the two back together. Easier than I thought, hopefully. I don't know if it works yet. Uh, I've uh, put the memory back in, put the bottom plate back on. The hardest part was getting this bottom plate to align for the screws again. So what we're going to do is get it set up again, boot it. It should complain on the first attempt uh, that the clock is out, but we'll set the clock and then if we reboot it again, it shouldn't complain again. But first thing to do is set it up and see if it'll actually boot or if I've broken anything. And okay, first boot. Let's see if she survives surgery. We have usual noises. We have the hard drive noise. Let's see, I hope we got a screen. Oh, I hate this waiting. Oh, got a screen. It looks happy. Hard drive's going. Oh, okay. Seems happy so far. That sound as well, that's uh, always an advantage. That's the internal sound. I haven't plugged the uh, external speakers in. And keyboard's working. If I can sp uh, type right. It's a funny position to type it on, so. You'll have to forgive me. 
There we go. The mouse is working. Yep, all appears to be happy. Uh, let's see if that clock's upset. Right, yep, so we need to set the clock, but she appears to have survived surgery. So, at present, it is not 1970. It is 2020. Okay, and save. Yep, clock gone to that. So, let's, uh, now we've done that. Let's reboot and see if she complains. We'll do a live reboot here. Ready, so start. Restart. Reboot. Let's see if she complains anymore. Okay, we're at the password screen. Oh, the truth shall he be here shortly. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. No complaints so far. There says the clock. There we go. There she is. So, successful. We've removed the firmware password to allow us to do dual booting and anything like that. And we've replaced the PRAM battery and had a good clean over while we're in there. So remember you'll need to replace that uh, paste on those heat tubes while you're in there. Or else you're going to kill it. Other than that, yes, successful day, the iMac G4 back to full power. So if you enjoy these sort of videos, then uh, please subscribe, please like the video. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and, pa and Facebook. You can support the channel through Patreon or PayPal donations. Links for them are below. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. And we'll be doing some live shows involving this computer coming soon. Thank you. Hey. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>